After all of the craziness of the first season of OSET, Goose and I have finally reached our last OSET competition of the season. So friends, come along with us as we prepare for Meet 3 and finish out our 2022 season. Hello friends! So, it is Wednesday and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning and I just finished my online lecture on Zoom and so we are now heading to campus in about an hour for my in-person lecture. So yeah, I'm excited. After my second lecture, we're going to head to the barn. I'm going to have a private lesson, a group lesson, and then bathe goose. So it's going to be a busy day, um, but I'm excited. And I, last weekend, got sick. I got a cold. So I'm pretty much recovered, but my voice is not really back yet. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it's been a bit of a crazy last five days, but we're getting there and we're ready to go show this weekend. So I'm excited. All right, so this is our current setup and I went to the laundromat yesterday and washed his cooler and his um, stable blanket for the show. So that is done and they're just drying but this is my bathing bag and i need to get it packed up for tonight so it currently has his back on track boots his super cute tail bag with my name on it his standing wraps these are just the quilts he is currently well he has his polo wraps that will go over the top of them at the barn and then i have a couple of towels in here and then his sleazy, which is super cute, has my name on the front. So we need to put his cooler and stable blanket in here as well. As I had said, I had caught a cold through Easter weekend, so I was really struggling through this whole week. I was pretty exhausted and my body was still trying to heal, making it very difficult to be at home physical and mental capacity for showing. So I even skipped cleaning my tack and writing in my show tack because I was simply trying to conserve as much energy as possible. I ended up deciding not to film the rest of the weekend so I could fully focus on showing, but I hope you all are enjoying seeing my show prep. After my private lesson, it was time to go ahead and bathe Goose, which he doesn't often really mind as long as there's warm water and treats in it for him, so he was a very good boy. But I basically start by rinsing him down and then using a curry mitt to distribute soap all over his body. I use the mane and tail shampoo and conditioner, then I rinse him off and then do his legs and tail.
So, it is Thursday, it is Thursday, almost 12 p.m., and I just finished some homework, and so I'm all done with that for today, which is great, because I was not quite sure if I was going to get it all done, um, and now I'm going to start show prep. So, I need to get everything put in here, <clears throat> in the living room, and then I'll start actually cleaning it and organizing it. Then we'll load up and then at about three o'clock we're gonna leave and go to the fairgrounds so it is gonna be a busy day i got a ride set up everything at the fairgrounds then we're gonna head to a team dinner tonight it's gonna be a bit crazy but i'm really excited goose is all clean all bathed i bathed him last night and i think he's happy i don't really know he really was hungry last night so he was kind of ready to go back to his stall but the dragon was good. <laughs> he um, had a really good lesson, and so we are excited. We are ready. I'm jamming out to some music this morning, and we're going to get going. So let's go. Okay, guys. So before we start, I want to show you guys the skirt that I basically always wear when I'm doing show prep because it's so comfortable and just amazing. So it has a little it's just a skirt and then it has like it's pretty long but it's stretchy and i think it is pretty like fast drying for water and that has some capris attached to it and it's from snoga athletics and it is the best i want to get like four more of these and i love using it for volleyball or whatever else that i want to do and this is not one of my riding skirts, but it's definitely what I use when I just want to be comfy and be around the house. And so I will link this skirt in the description box if any of you guys want to check it out. It is amazing. Okay, so I just had some lunch and now it is about 1.30 and um, I'm really tired. I'm kind of like crashing a little bit and I don't know if I want to take a nap or what I want to do, but I'm really tired. And so I think what I'm going to do with my show prep is I'm going to go ahead and organize everything and load up and then just leave washing like my tack for when I feel better or tomorrow I start showing tomorrow but um there's like a big gap in the morning so I might do some tack cleaning then I don't know but I do not feel like energized enough to use my energy up on that so I'm just gonna organize it see how it goes and yeah <laughs> 